friends, welcome back to the vlog channel, long time no talk. We are headed to take some vlog photos right now and then as soon as we get home, we are going to, did that person back up into that tree? They stopped right before it, but yeah. Oh, look at, the, look at this, it's like giving me the air, the model air, or wind, whatever. So um, when we, we have to go, like specifically we're taking our pictures in a certain part so that I can pick up a prescription and then we've got to run to the store um, to pick up if the pharmacy doesn't have it, which I don't know if they do, but um, we have to pick up a like Drano, which is super random. Then we're gonna go home and I'm cooking something yummy tonight. So I'm making, I have learned thanks to HelloFresh how to cook within like one pot or one pan sheet I don't know um, and so I will make I'm making potatoes asparagus and chicken with panko breadcrumbs and cheese that is so good so that's what we're doing and I'm gonna bring you guys along for it because it's been a long time since I have vlogged I don't know why I just haven't how long do you think it's been since you vlogged right soccer was not back on TV like that. So pre-quarantine? About like maybe? three weeks. I think they've played three games since. Okay. So, so mid-quarantine roughly. So that's what we're doing today. I got my Botox again yesterday um, and my face is so sore today like my forehead but it hasn't set yet so like you can't tell. I'm still I have some motion. Not full but it hasn't set so like my forehead's just sore. But luckily, no bruising, no bleeding, nothing. You can't see the needle marks. But um, I had to get, I got it, I got asked yesterday if I had to get the same amount of units or any more. I got the same amount of units that I got last time. And no, I didn't. I got two more units than I got last time. So I think it was like 38 total, 38 units. Um, that's not right. I can't remember. It was two, if you go watch my main channel video, it's two more than what I said in that video. <laughs> so, all right, my armor. It's been a long time since I'm doing this. I'm like, so I have a major headache right now. It's just like borderline migraine. Seriously, it's so bad. I couldn't talk. I felt like I was gonna throw up. But my medicine's starting to kick in. I ate a snack. Hopefully that'll help. Although it's like so close to dinner. It's just, anyway. So I wore these jeans today without trying them on for pictures. And they don't fit me. They're so big. I haven't put them on since I like lost weight and started like toning up my body so it looks different. So it's not like I've even lost that much weight but like they do not fit me anymore. So I'm gonna set the oven to 425. Little russet potatoes, is that what these are called? I think so. Yeah. Are those the ones you're gonna do tonight? Yeah. Are you gonna do them like the half open thing or are you gonna fully dice them? I was going to fully dice them. Do you want me to use the other ones? You're going to fully dice them, yeah. Okay. Put them in the dirt off of the fields. Okay, should have gone with my gut and cooked only, or cut only three because this is a lot of freaking potatoes. Like a lot, but it's not a big deal. I'm going to, let's see, put a little bit of olive oil on them. Are we completely out of the small bottle of olive oil? Probably. Mm, oh. I didn't realize. So, took a little bit of EVOO.
I used to just pour it from the bottle to like straight to the potatoes and it just, it's not good. The proportions were never good. So, are you laughing at me? Mm -hmm. Why? Just you. Did you not know that? Like I used to get like clumps of oil on some potatoes and other potatoes would have nothing on them and I was like, this is not working. So now I gotta pour it on a big old spoon. And then that way, it's a little bit more even. There we go. Can you see? Yes. Yummy. Yum. And I don't know if I set up a oven at 425. And then while this is cooking, I'm gonna prep the chicken. These need to cook for about 40 minutes. Wake me up in 15 minutes. Oh. Okay. God, we're gonna be eating dinner so late tonight. Let me just pull my hair about my head. It is gonna be 7.50, or I mean 6.50 already in like 15 minutes. So I have three large chicken breasts. Baby, can you actually do me a big favor? Can you pat these? dry and like just lay them out as evenly as possible on here all right so what you're gonna do is you'll actually just put sour cream straight on the chicken and that's how you're gonna get the little mixture to um stick this is not healthy like i said i'm literally gonna take cheese pretty hefty amount not healthy but it's okay and then panko breadcrumbs. Then let's see, a little bit of onion slices. Then you need salt, pepper, and then a little bit of garlic. You can do minced garlic or regular garlic. Then just take a little bit of olive oil. Thank you, baby. If you'll bring it over here and just put it on the stove. You're supposed to like, if you really want it, why is this not focusing? Because it's like half dark, half light. If you really want it to be like fancy, just don't use like Colby Jack cheese, use like Parmesan or something, but this is what we have on hand and we really like it, so. Thank you, love. God, this meal is gonna be good, but it's gonna be so unhealthy. It's okay, I ran 5K this morning. It's called Balance. Show you what it looks like. This is the uh, chicken. It has got a hefty coat of sour cream on it. Putting a lot of it in the middle. Yummy. And then you gotta cook this for like, like 45 minutes. So I'm about to pop it in the oven now. Like this is your food. Yummy. It smells very good. Good? Yeah. Take it. It's yours. I kind of messed mine up a little bit. The presentation's not as great. <laughs> But I figured we could cut that one in half, or if I don't want all of mine, which I probably won't, you can have it. There's a lot of chicken. That might be. It is. It's a lot of. Lord, these animals. Okay. Hey guys. Okay. So I look like crap. I just got done working out. I wanted to show you the sports bra. So I'm a little bit bloated. You will have to. Ugh. This is what the time of the month looks like with me lately. It's like. The bloating is so bad. Um, but this is a sports bra from Amazon and I wanted to share it with you guys on here. I had a video go up on bras um, that I really like on my main channel. Probably when you're watching this, it will have been yesterday. So go check this out. I'll link it below for you guys. Got a medium. It is really, really good quality though. Um, I just got done running in it. And I have on my Fabletics leggings. And then I actually just had to take the color out because it's my week. So I have on these dorky shoes. Well, they're not dorky shoes, but like they look dorky with this outfit. But I got 
a really cool curling iron. I haven't had a full chance to really use it yet and like kind of played with it, but then I, let me get out of here because I Then I was sweating and stuff, so it really didn't um, hold, but no curls, no matter what I do to my hair, like holds when it's, 100 degrees outside and I'm running and pouring sweat. So I have been asked a few times if I can recommend a curling iron that is similar to the T3, but much better in price. So I struggled because I only have T3 curling irons. Um, so I finally found one and I think it's comparable. So when I played with it initially, um, actually my hair is still kind of curled with it. So my hair was already curled this morning when I woke up. So it doesn't really count. I'm gonna have to play with it, but I wanted to just still share it. So this is the curling iron. It's like $24 on Amazon. Um, it's similar in size. I mean, I have a barrel that's this size for the T3. I just have the largest one on here right now. Um, the biggest difference is obviously the price. The sizing is the same. This one heats up a little bit faster, not astronomically faster. Um, they have about the same heat settings. The biggest thing, I have hiccups because I just got in from running, oh my gosh. Get this every time, is that this doesn't leave your hair as like shiny and soft. I feel like whenever I use this to curl my hair, I don't know there's just the curls come out so beautiful so soft my hair looks so silky and I feel like with this I almost felt like it was very like coarse and rough um and I don't know I mean it definitely the curls looked exactly the same I did not like the way that my hair felt so it's comparable to the T3, um, which is what I've heard like reviews say about it, is that it's comparable, but it's it's not better than or equal to by any stretch. If I still had to pick one, like if you are willing to pay the price of the T3, get the T3 150 times over. But if you don't wanna pay that and you just want like a, you know, a good curling iron that's gonna be decent to your hair but not like make your hair anything extra and all that this one's pretty good especially for 24 bucks i was very impressed with the price um so amazon amazon <laughs> i will link this below for you guys but sam is making dinner currently i have to edit a video tonight gotta get a video up have to put an instagram post up i haven't done that yet it's gonna be a late night and i have to wash my hair now because i ran and i, I am like disgusting and sweaty Oh, it's gonna be a late night. So, I don't know how much more I'll be able to vlog, but I'm gonna get better about it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button below if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next vlog.